It always does. Uh, hello, this is Pastor Marvin McKenzie from Bible Baptist Church of Peola, Washington. And I do want to welcome you to today's daily visit with God, uh, where I'll be reading today out of Acts chapter 11 and verse 22. The Bible says, Then tidings of those things came unto the ears of the church which was in Jerusalem, and they sent forth Barnabas that he should go as far as Antioch. Um, given the lack of technology in those days and the animosity of the world against Christians and also the comparatively brief life of faith, uh, it's amazing that tidings of what was happening in Antioch reached the church at Jerusalem. Uh, it wasn't as if uh, Antioch was advertising, nor was Jerusalem really in a position physically to exhort authority over those in Antioch, but tidings reached them nonetheless. It always does. You know, the work that we do for the Lord may seem insignificant and unnoticed and forgotten, but that is not the case at all. Uh, for one thing, the Christian community looks for people of like faith. Um, in, in those days, of the, in the days of the first century, um, Rome had created a culture of travel. People from all over the Roman world traveled, many of them widely. This travel enabled news to spread by word of mouth and by letters passed off to those known to be heading in a particular direction. And that ability to travel has, of course, um, expanded dramatically since then. You know, we may contact anyone around the world through personal travel, phone, email, and, and these days, video communications. People who are interested look for and find out what others are doing for Christ, and they tell what they hear. But, you know, more importantly, God is keeping an eye on those who serve him. And it may seem like we're alone at times, but we're never far from the blessed presence of God, for good or for bad. Tidings of those things, what we do for the Lord, get out there. Let's be sure those tidings serve to glorify the Lord. So I do want to thank you for watching this Bible study today and ask if you've been helped by the lesson, would you um, help me by clicking like on this video? And then if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd like to ask you to do that and share with your friends so that they can benefit from the teaching of God's word as well. Until next time, God bless.